Hey guys, welcome to We Play Harry Potter News 14. As you saw last week, the new feature to this channel is We Play Harry Potter Pirates, and that's where I will be reviewing pirate Harry Potter games. So if you know of any pirate Harry Potter games, please let me know. I know there's some out there. We haven't had any new members to the channel or birthdays this week. And the game I'm playing in the background is Lego Harry Potter Years 1-4 to on Nintendo DS. Horrible quality, I know, but I've never filmed me playing the DS. And trust me, it isn't easy. And this game was requested by Mr. Crazy Gamer 13 I believe. As always, please check the description box for a list of all the Harry Potter games that I own. And you could say see the game that you requested in the news video in the background. Now let's get on to some Let's Play updates. Primetime LPs has added 7 parts to his Quidditch World Cup Let's Play in the GameCube and with 19 parts in all it's now complete. He's also decided to redo his Let's Play of Deathly Hallows Part 2 except this time he's doing the Wii version as opposed to the 360 version which he did before and it has 13 parts and it's also complete. Maldus Moody has also updated his Deathly Hallows Let's Play except it's for part 1, also on the Wii. He's added 4 more parts, bringing us to 18 parts in all and we have another Let's Play that's complete. Mr Crazy Gamer 13 has a new Let's Play up which is Lego Harry Potter Years 1-4 to on the PS3 and it has the first 5 parts up with regards to the Prisoner of Azkaban Let's Play on Game Boy Advance that me and CD Works are doing, I haven't added anything at all all week due to me being busy and I've had microphone issues and stuff. But CD Works has another part up, so he's on seven parts and I'm on four parts, but we're not that far behind each other. I will update ASAP. Hopefully there will be at least two parts for me by next week. And finally, Crychex has added another two parts to his Order of the Phoenix Let's Play on PC, and that now has eight parts. And that was all the Let's Play updates for this week. Wasn't that many, was there? Now, for something that I haven't done in a while, top three Let's Players. We've had a couple of challenges since the last time. I can't remember when the last time I did it was. I think it was two or three weeks ago. I can't remember. Uh, in third place, we have a tie between Mr. Crazy Gamer 13 and Project Darkshine, who each have six Let's Plays. In second place is Liz and Eric series with eight. And in first place, we have another tie, and it's between Super Duke and Primetime LPs, who each have ten. And in total, would you believe that we've done 67 Let's Plays in all, which shows how many people love Harry Potter games just... Wow, I can't believe it. And with regards to the other gamers' channels, I haven't had any updates from them this week. Just to recap, they are the Formula One gamers' channel, which is The Almighty 2 by Mr. BV256, the Simpsons gamers' channel, which is Shane Productions Rules by The Walkthroughs PS3, the Resident Evil gamers' channel, which is RE Productions 1000 by Mr. Crazy Gamer 13 and the Sega Gamers channel run by QI Vipers which is called Sega Gamers Unite. All the links are in the description in case you want to join any of them, please do. Also a big, big congratulations to our main inspiration, the Let's Play Brigade, for recently reaching 200 subscribers. And in regards to our subscribers, we have over 80, which is really good. And I've kind of thought of setting a new goal, which is to get 100 subscribers by Christmas. Hopefully it will happen. Keep my fingers crossed. That's it for now. As always, follow us on Twitter under We Play High Potter Games. No, sorry. WPHP Games. And check back next Friday for We Play High Potter News 15. Wish you all a good weekend and goodbye.